Hello. So it's been a eventful week, um, I must say. The elections here in the US, and there was an election, a by-election for presidency in Jamaica, but I will start with what happened in the US. So let's get into it. The election here in the US started on Tuesday, was held on Tuesday. But funny enough, the results never came out until Saturday. Now, if you know, normally, traditionally, the results would have been released on the, the night of the election, which is what have, has happened um, over the past couple of years. Um, I've managed to witness, what, four or five US elections? Yeah, that my memory really go back to but um it was something that was really entertaining and this one for sure with donald trump was um <laughs> it was one for the books but the elm of it all um the gentleman throughout the, the, the days the days were very long i was watching cnn for like Four days. I normally don't watch CNN. Yeah, I normally don't watch CNN because I, do, I don't watch news on a whole period. I don't. If it's not for social media, probably Twitter, Instagram, or something, I don't really know what's happening, which is very bad. But I still um, I'm aware of what's going on in the world, but I don't really watch news. Yeah, you get that. But um, I am very pleased despite all the little nuances that took place with the election. I mean, I did a couple interviews. Well, I managed to get a few people. I went to a few polling stations, if I must add, and there was not a lot of people there. I realized there was no lines. It's, it was unlike anything I've experienced in Jamaica. You know, you're used to seeing the excitement and the music. There was music here and there, but I mean, there was nobody to build that vibe. So it was really unusual for me. And it was something that was totally on the opposite of what we're used to when you talk about elections. And you know what the vibe is like for elections in Jamaica. But I must say that it has definitely opened my eyes because at the end of the day, democracy rules and people are concerned and people are definitely overwhelmed by somebody who probably isn't performing or probably isn't fit to lead you know people express themselves especially when they're disappointed and we've seen that in the u.s um it was a celebration yesterday throughout the entire day um i did not go on the road for that because, you know, I, that was something I never wanted to be a part of because of, you don't know how that can climax. But I mean, you could have seen it on the TV and I'll definitely throw a few clips in so you guys can see what it was like with the whole celebration going on. But it was definitely a phenomenon and I really, really, really am overwhelmed. I'm extremely happy that people got the opportunity to express themselves via voting and via celebrating and that was not restricted in any way or form hi do you mind introducing yourself my name's carol and i'm working with the biden harris campaign we're going to be bringing this home okay tonight. what is what has it been like for um since morning well this morning there was a line it was the only time we had a line uh-huh oh, we had about 50 something people in it now going in and out no line no waiting okay um and it's been a steady stream every day excellent a lot of broward voters came out early mm -hmm. so you know these are the last of the voters the procrastinators okay <laughs> but, but it doesn't matter because we still are out here until seven o'clock we well, want you to come out and vote so get out here and make sure your voice is heard okay my final question to you is why is it so important for people to take this election seriously Come on now, come on now. We need to make sure we vote because 
there is change that needs to happen today, tomorrow, every day. There's so much stuff going on. There's social injustice. There is this idea that behaving in a certain way is acceptable. Right. Hatred, it needs to stop. We need to come together as a country and we need to make sure our voice is heard and we need to get this done. However, despite all of that, President Trump decides that he's not going to concede. No, if you are more aware to how politics work, he does not have to concede. Um, once the votes are finalized and approved in the states, um, the different states rather, you know, they are official and therefore, you know, it goes on to the Senate. And once the Senate comes on the 6th, approval is given on in the Senate and then it moves on to get it moves on for preparation for um, his nomination not nomination day is swearing in ceremony which is normally on the 20th of January if my memory serves right so definitely that is something that y'all should watch out for it's gonna be an interesting couple of weeks Trump is deciding that he's gonna file legal charges in the different states. We're still waiting on that because as much as he's suggesting that there was fraud in the election, we are yet to see um, any, yeah, we're yet to see any evidence of that. The people them just tired of the man and them just get rid of the man. Sir, we're tired of you. We tired i need to leave so that was really what was going on anyways yeah it just it was just so much like you're watching it and you see all the crap that he's talking and you just have to literally just look at your wonder like oh you know oh what the hell is going on but all that is well ends well and we've gotten an amazing an amazing VP a woman at that you know everybody has their history and people are saying oh she did this oh she did that but we're most pleased it's the first woman VP the first woman of color so that's a big 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 deal and she's now setting the precedence for our young girls or women to understand that we can achieve the utmost that we can achieve anything you set your mind to it, it, you're not limited to anything you understand and that's an amazing thing um, and the world and of itself the race or race has always been or black race has always been on the cusp of excellence and greatness and you know this is another amazing moment for us to really highlight enjoy and embrace so yeah it's hope it's really hope for those who never thought that this day would come who never thought that we would have gotten to this point um so yeah let us let us bask in the moment enjoy it embrace it celebrate it because as she said last night in her first speech as vice president elect she said i may be the first woman of color but I will not be the last. And that was really, really something that opened the eyes of many people and got a lot of people talking. And you had a lot of ce um, celebrities celebrating. Um, Beyonce posted them. You had Chrissy Teigen and um, John Legend that was out on the street celebrating. Lynn Whitfield. There was so much celebrities that was out. Rihanna was talking about it. Everybody. Everybody happy said the man I go away. Yeah, man I ask them happy said the dirty man I go away. Honestly, the man is an idiot. Cross is to be exact. So, yeah. Who wouldn't happy? Take a sip of my tea. Who wouldn't happy? Honestly, you know? The man is an idiot. The man is a fascist. <laughs> <laughs> to get down into who he is as a person, the man is a bully overall. He's a verbal bully. Um, 
and the way he speaks about women towards women towards people the type of things he encourages and that's it you know but you know what is so weird he he donald trump donald trump has uh how do i put it racism never left it never left what he did was he brought it to the forefront he made these people so comfortable that they were able to do the things they do say the things they say with little or no repercussions no no form of um penalization nothing these people felt free were free and did exactly that but um i'm very happy that i never ever 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 came across people like that and because i really don't know how that would have gone down but yeah enough of that we'll let it be it's a new dawn it's a new era and we're gonna we're gonna let that moment take its course it's it's such an amazing feeling and i can honestly say that yeah god might god might do that but him not sleep yeah man him might do that but him not sleep and that are the greatest part of life so yeah let us let us see how it's gonna turn out but i know it it's gonna be quite an eventful couple of weeks outside of that the presidential election in jamaica is finally complete after weeks of um, campaigning and a lot of drama possible lawsuits that were gonna happen but it's finally over we have a victor surprisingly you know a lot of people thought that lisa hannah would have won but that was not the case Mark Golding came out the victor with a thousand and a thousand seven hundred seven hundred and forty four votes. Lisa Hanna came out with a thousand four 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 forty three, I think, if my memory serves me correct. But it's finished, and a lot of people, you know, during the entire contest, a lot of people were saying, "Oh, beauty over brains." Um, it was beauty over brains that she wasn't smart and all of that. And I think she's a very smart woman. Um, but I think a lot of people haven't warmed up to the idea of who she is, especially particularly because of her past and incidents that they've witnessed or have been a part of, has been a part of rather. So yeah, um, but it's finished. Let us see if they can come together and get themselves in a position aligned and ready for the upcoming election in a couple of years. Yes, the next four to five years when another election is due. So let us see if they can prepare themselves, unify, because trust me, unity is what that party needs. But I will not get down into that. Um, but yeah, people, continue. Continue to do, you know, your part in your, ci your civic duty. Continue to do your part. Do your civic duty, vote when necessary because your vote is definitely your voice and that is the most important thing that we have in a democratic society. So enjoy that. But yeah, with everything that's going on, Corona, we're going to see um, how it will be tackled at this point from an international standpoint. You know, a new president, his task force that he wants to set up we're gonna watch and see how that's gonna work so yeah but stay safe wearing your mask sanitize being your brother's keeper keep doing being and becoming we'll catch up little more